Hi and welcome students. If you've been using Microsoft Office for any length of time, either at your work or at school, you may be wondering what version of Microsoft Office are you using? Well, I'm going to go over in this video how to figure that out, whether you're using Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, or any other Microsoft Office application. When we go through this tutorial, you're going to see that I'm going to use Microsoft Word, but the process is the same for any of the applications. Let's get started. All right, so you'll see that I have a blank uh, desktop open right now, and I'm gonna go down here and click on Microsoft Word. Again, you can use any application that you'd like. Now, I don't know if you caught that, but when I opened the application, it did say Word 2019 down below. Yours will likely give you some sort of version as you open yours up as well. So I'm gonna go to a blank document now. Again, we don't need to open up anything else other than just a blank version of whatever application you're using. And then we need to go to the Backstage menu. The Backstage menu could be found in the File tab. If you go right up here, you're going to see that it says File, and this is true in most Office applications. You go to File, and then you go right down here and choose Account. After choosing Account, you're going to see that this provides you with information on which version of Microsoft Office that you're using, whether it's 2016, 2019, Office 365, or any other version of the applications. Along the left side, you'll see your user account information, as well as any connected services like OneDrive. On the right side, you'll see the actual product information regarding Microsoft Office. It'll let you know if your product is activated right here. If you have an inactivated version of Microsoft Office, this could be that your work perhaps hasn't activated their account, or more likely if you're a student, you no longer have access to Microsoft Office because you're no longer enrolled at the school, or if you purchased a one or two year subscription, you'll see that this may be inactive. If it is inactive, you'll need to activate your version of Microsoft Office by purchasing a new product or registering for Office 365. Down below that, you'll actually see the version of Microsoft Office that you're using. And so on my computer here, I'm using Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2019. So the version is 2019, and I'm using Professional Plus, which tells me which products it contains. The products that Professional Plus 2019 contain are Microsoft Access, which is a database program, Excel, which is a spreadsheet application, OneNote, which is a note-taking and notebook program. Outlook, which is your email application. Presentation software called PowerPoint. Publication software called Publisher, so this would be things like brochures and newsletters. Word, which is your word processor. And Skype, which is your video conferencing software. Below that, you'll see any updates. If you have administrative rights on your computer, you may be able to update your computer and apply the latest op updates for Microsoft Office. So this is the full version of Microsoft Office. I may, I should um, let you know. Um, if you're using Microsoft Office through a web browser like Chrome or Firefox using office.com, you are not using the full version of Microsoft Office. You are instead using a web app, which is a free version of the software, which is uh, quite useful if you do not have Office installed on a device that you're using. So this hopefully uh, will help you out learn more about uh, what version of Microsoft Office you're using and what how uh, and what those products contain. So if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I do have playlists available if you want to learn more about Microsoft Access, Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, Publisher, or Word on my channel, and I list them in order of difficulty from beginner all the way through advanced users. So if you have any, any interest in that, please check out the playlist page on my channel. In addition to that, if you have any comments, please put them in the comment section below, and if you have questions, I'll do my best to answer them. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video today. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.